The story of the Gloucester Gladiator begins in the early 1930s. At a time when military aviation was undergoing rapid transformation, the Gladiator was born out of the need for a more capable fighter aircraft, one that could meet the growing demands of aerial warfare. Developed by Gloucester Aircraft Company, the Gladiator was a progression from earlier biplane designs like the Gloucester Gauntlet. Its development was a careful balance between traditional biplane advantages and the emerging technologies of monoplane fighters. In terms of design, the Gladiator was a blend of the old and the new. It retained the biplane configuration, which offered excellent maneuverability and a tight turning radius, crucial for dogfighting. Yet, it incorporated advancements such as an enclosed cockpit, a departure from the open cockpits typical of earlier biplanes, enhancing pilot safety and comfort. At its heart was the powerful Bristol Mercury radial engine, propelling the Gladiator to speeds that were competitive with early monoplane designs. It was armed with a formidable array of weaponry, initially two Vickers machine guns and later supplemented by two more Browning machine guns, providing a significant increase in firepower. The Gladiator's airframe and wings were a work of precise engineering. Metal and fabric construction, along with a streamlined design, reduced drag and allowed for higher speeds. The Gladiator also underwent extensive wind tunnel testing, a practice that was becoming increasingly important in aircraft design to refine its aerodynamic qualities. The first prototype of the Gladiator flew in 1934, showcasing its capabilities and laying the groundwork for its subsequent variants. The aircraft's performance in these early tests was impressive, leading to its adoption by the Royal Air Force and several other countries. The development and design of the Gloucester Gladiator were a testament to the ingenuity and vision of its creators. It stood at the crossroads of a changing era in military aviation, bridging the gap between the biplanes of World War I and the advanced fighters of World War II. The journey begins with the Gladiator Mark I, the initial production model. The Gladiator Mark II followed, an upgraded version with a more powerful engine. Then there was the Sea Gladiator, a navalized version for aircraft carrier operations. Apart from these, there were lesser-known models like the proposed Mark III and the two-seater trainer variant, showcasing the versatility of the Gladiator design. In battle, the Gladiator saw action across the globe, from the frozen landscapes of Norway to the scorching skies of North Africa. Its operational history is a tapestry of bravery, strategic victories, and, admittedly, some challenging defeats. Turning our attention to the rugged and challenging theaters of Norway, the Gloucester Gladiator played a pivotal role during the early stages of World War II. The Norwegian Campaign of 1940 was a defining moment not just for Norway, but for the Gladiator's operational history. In April 1940, as Germany launched its invasion of Norway, the Royal Air Force, including its Gladiator squadrons, was called into action. These biplanes, operating in extreme conditions, were among the first to engage with the invading forces. The Gladiator squadrons, notably 263 Squadron of the RAF, played a crucial role in providing air support to ground forces and engaging German aircraft. Despite facing newer and more advanced enemy fighters, the Gladiators conducted numerous successful sorties, illustrating their resilience and the skill of their pilots. One of the most intriguing and heroic chapters in the Gloucester Gladiators' storied history unfolded in the snowy expanses of Finland during the Winter War of 1939-1940. Here, against the backdrop of a harsh northern winter, the Gladiator not only fought but excelled, etching its name into the annals of aerial warfare. The Finnish Air Force, known for its skill and tenacity, operated a small fleet of gladiators against the might of the Soviet Union. These gladiators, facing overwhelming odds, became a symbol of Finnish resilience and ingenuity in aerial combat. In the frigid skies above Finland, these biplanes engaged in some of the most intense dogfights of the Winter War. Despite being technologically outmatched by more modern Soviet aircraft, the gladiators' maneuverability, especially in the skilled hands of Finnish pilots, proved to be a formidable force. In the Finnish Winter War, an intriguing chapter unfolds with the Swedish volunteers. Despite Sweden's official stance of neutrality, these volunteers joined Finland's defense, flying Gloucester gladiators provided from the Swedish Air Force. But notably, their aircraft bore Finnish insignia, adhering to Sweden's neutral position in the conflict. These pilots, part of the Swedish Volunteer Air Force, F-19, 
were a critical reinforcement for the Finnish defense. Their gladiators, though externally resembling Finnish aircraft, were manned by Swedes determined to make a difference in the conflict. The Swedish volunteers provided a morale booster for Finnish forces. They engaged Soviet bombers and fighters, showcasing not just the gladiators' agility, but also their own flying prowess. Hey there! I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching and supporting this channel. You're amazing. I'd like to introduce you to Super Thanks. Your Super Thanks donation not only helps me create more awesome content, but also gets highlighted in the comments section. Just click on the Thanks button below this video and leave a small tip in your local currency. Let's grow together and thank you for being a super supporter. Now back to the video. Now, let's journey to the sun-baked deserts of North Africa and the strategic island of Malta, where the Gloucester Gladiator etched yet another chapter of valor and resilience in World War II. In North Africa, the Gladiator was thrust into a challenging theater of war, facing the forces of the Axis powers. Here, in the vast desert skies, the Gladiator pilots engaged in some of the earliest air battles of the North African campaign. These engagements were characterized by intense dogfights with Italian and German aircraft. Despite being outclassed by newer fighters, the Gladiator's maneuverability and the skill of Commonwealth pilots led to significant victories especially in the early stages of the campaign. The Gladiator's role in operations like Operation Compass was crucial. Their support in disrupting enemy supply lines and providing air cover for ground troops was invaluable. The biplane's performance in these unforgiving conditions was a testament to its ruggedness and adaptability. Meanwhile, on the island of Malta, the Gladiator wrote one of its most storied pages. Three Sea Gladiators, famously known as Faith, Hope, and charity, became symbols of defiance and resilience during the Siege of Malta in 1940. These aircraft, often outnumbered, were pivotal in defending the island against Italian air raids. Their dogged defense in the face of overwhelming odds remains a legendary episode in the history of aerial combat. In the Balkans and Greece, the Gloucester Gladiator stood as a beacon of resistance during some of World War II's early confrontations. The Royal Hellenic Air Force, undeterred by the might of the Axis powers, employed gladiators in a desperate and valiant defense of their homeland. During the Greco-Italian War and the subsequent German invasion, these gladiators were hurled into action. Despite facing a technologically superior enemy, the Greek pilots, with their gladiators, displayed remarkable bravery and skill, engaging in numerous dogfights over the rugged terrain of Greece and Albania. In the Middle East, the Gladiator's versatility was once again put to the test in the harsh desert conditions. The Anglo-Iraqi War of 1941 saw the Gladiator engaging in key battles against Iraqi rebel forces who were covertly supported by the Axis. In Iraq, the Gladiator played a crucial role in maintaining British influence in the region, providing air support to ground troops and engaging in combat with rebel aircraft. The Gladiator pilots adapted to the challenging desert environment demonstrated exceptional skill and resilience. The Gladiator's legacy is multifaceted. It marked a transition in aerial warfare and influenced subsequent fighter aircraft designs. Celebrated in museums and airshows, it serves as an educational tool and a cultural icon, symbolizing courage, innovation, and resilience. The Gloucester Gladiator's story is one of technological evolution, human bravery, and a poignant reminder of pivotal moments in our global history.